Alright everybody, welcome back to the Thousand Degree Hot Knife playthrough. Let's get a move on. I'm pretty much still recording on the same session I was uh, earlier. It's just I split it into two videos because they're both an hour long. I think hour long segments are going to do this pretty well. He's extremely aggressive, so we're going to have to buff up before he gets up to us. There we go. You gotta do a lot of jump attacks to break his poise, because he has a lot of poise. Ow! Didn't even die. All right. Now Relay, or however I pronounce his name, is going to be harder because he's he has identical poise to me, but he has uh, better gear than me <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I finished the hunt. Alright. Fasten's Gamut may prove useful. I don't think we're going to need anything, though. Okie dokie. I know the path to get exactly to him without taking too many risks. So, let's head down there. Very odd that there's a demi-human there. Like, I don't understand why the demi-humans just lay around the ruins in this. They did in Limgrave, but like the runes were so rare. Here they're like every rune. Do -do -do -do. Grab this gold seed. Uh, avoid the crabs. I have no interest in the crabs. Okay. I did aggro him, unfortunately, but if I go up through here, and I enter the invasion, it should de-aggro him.
There we go. Wasted his heal. Oh god, bike spike. There we go. He managed to corner himself when he already has way lower poise than the first dude, so. Cornered himself, he didn't keep the pressure up, he lost. I was a little worried there for a second. But now we have the Crespus file. It is exactly what I wanted. Because it allows us to just walk past a lot of enemies. That we wouldn't normally be able to. So. Serpent Bone Blade should be ours. I don't have time to listen to her spiel. I know, you want him dead. Letter to Bertal. Bernal. I thought I said Bertal. Okay. I'm going to go out here and get the map, just because I hate not having the map filled in. Hi, Patches. All right. Cheers for that. Let me on the horse. There we go. Gosh. All right. There should be a golden seat up here. And then we can go down and around and get uh, the side of grace and the map. That Invisible Ash of War is worth almost nothing. Every time I get it, I was always think, wow, I'm never going to use it. <laughs> Thankfully, spider hands are weak to fire, so I'm not necessarily worried about the big one that's about to come up from the right side in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Let me activate the site. There we go. Well, that worked out well. And he didn't push. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Honestly. Go back to the first Altus Plateau, side of Grace. Get this one. I was confused by these ghost banners. I don't know what they exactly are supposed to be. Are they supposed to be like memories of the war that was here a few moments ago? Are they an incantation of some sort to ward off uh, the volcano manor? I don't know. I do not know. Rainy. Uh, what's a good way down? I guess over here is pretty good. There we go. There we go.
And because he was the only thing aggroed on us, we can make our clean getaway. For this portion, we're just not going to use Torrent. Because we could just walk. I like how, because even though he is aggroed, uh, because he hasn't swung at us yet, it hasn't triggered our stamina loss. We can just walk around here and not aggro a thing. Now, I don't know if this bear is triggered by sightline or by sound. So we're going to test that out one way or the other right quick. Truthfully, if we're sprinting, as long as we stay out of his line of sight, we'll be fine. Give him a wide berth. Of course, if he does uh, manage to look this way, then we just craft real quick. No sound. He doesn't trigger. Perfect. Oh god. Well, not what I wanted. I didn't realize you had eyes on the side of your head. Please tell me only one of them just ran after me. That would make my day. Oh, they did. You have just... You have signed your death warrant. No! Ah, that would have been so good. question is, does it reset his spawn trigger, or does he go along as if the script had ended for him walking forward after uh, a player range? Ah, it reset the script. Actually, we did grab this. There we go. This is the same one we've always fought, so... Okay. Let's keep going. Stamina regen. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, well, I got lucky. Okay. Ah, darn it. Okay. 
Let's say risk. Yep. Once we get this up to level 3 and 4, we should be at B scaling, or at least pretty close to it. So this fight would have been a lot faster if I actually went and got the smithing stone bell bearing. But live and learn. And a hero's rune to top it off. Oh boy. Okay, and we level up. Add a little bit more faith into the mix. Now, what we can do is we can go up here and get a formless seal, which is a special type of sacred seal that doesn't have any weight to it. And uh, that won't do a whole lot for us, but it'll help us uh, cast incantations and not worry about equip load. Maybe we'll be able to get to a light equip load. Who knows? It's not like it matters because we do not need to worry about incant scaling. We can still use. We can still use these. Yep. Still cast all the spells. And it doesn't matter because they don't lose effectiveness so long as we have a seal. So. Likewise, we could also use the Urge Reseal, but it doesn't matter. Urge Reseal is in the Volcano Manor, and we'd have to go through that entire Legacy Dungeon just to get it. And we'd also have to deal with the Omen uh, Hunter down there as well. Not worth it. At least right now. go and here's the smithing stone bell bearing might as well go through this entire dungeon for a few runes it doesn't really uh, hinder us in any way Especially since there's a gold pickle file foot there. Ah, darn it. Come on. Can I just stay here? 
and let him kill it. No? Okay. That would have been really funny. Oh, wait, right. This puts us back in the beginning. <laughs> there we go. While I'm walking, I might as well pop a few golden runes. Oh, that still hit me. That's just grease. I don't need that. Hey, this is a golden ring. Broke him. Now, Flame Strike should. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. I want to I want to go to the table of lost grace. There we go. <laughs> okay. Now what we do is we continue popping our golden runes here real quick. We'll need twelve of each after we give her the bell bearing that is. 11 of these and 12 of these. Now, we 
talk to Corrin. He's going to say, oh, I must be going. Alright, now he's told us he's leaving, he should leave, and that means he should not break as soon as we go and kill Morgoth, or something. Or burn the Ur-Tree. Okay, as soon as we touch the Altus Plateau, that's when her, uh, that's when she allows the trigger to go through. Alright. Kenneth Hyde is at his fort. We haven't talked to him yet, so I wonder if that trigger needs to happen first. Speaking of which, how's our knife doing now? We're at descaling. Nice. And 271 without any buffs active. Keep an eye on that. I just remembered there is an item that we could use. We could very easily grab. So, while everyone over here is having a fit, Let's see what we have. 488. Nearly 500 damage. It's better than most greatswords at this level. Die. <laughs> Thousand degree out knife. So close. Alright. Hmm, it's raining. Okay, let's pass time real quick. There we go. Now yeah, it's no longer raining. Jump up. It's a really hard one to dodge sometimes. Potion. Pop flame grip me strength.
It is raining again, but we can still take him. Yeah, we can still take him. Where was that going? Okay. What is this? Oh, of course it's an arterial leaf. What else would it be? Let's get some endurance going. Actually, how much does each faith go? I have three damage. Not bad, but we still need endurance more. Should only be one ballista active now. Yep, and it's over there. It's incredibly inaccurate too. Okay, let's just go down to this church. We could fight the Black Knife Assassin. I don't really see a need to. It doesn't give a whole lot of runes compared to what we're about to do, which is go fight Morgoth. And also the Urtree Avatar in the middle of Lindell. And also, actually just Lindell in general, because Lindell in general gives a lot of golden runes just being there. So... And the two soldiers over here didn't even see us, so we're going to fast travel again. And we can upgrade our flasks here. No reason why we shouldn't. Going into Lindell at level 63. Not bad. Well, probably 65, because I imagine we're probably going to get like two or three levels up from that uh, Draconic Urtree Sentinel we're about to fight.
to the bushes. legs he is resistant to fire so we are going to have to try a bit opportunity to buff okay heal we're gonna tank that but it's not gonna do much because we have better healing items through it. Ah, oh, darn it. Roll away. Okay. We need to flame strike again. Okay. He's gonna buff, but so are we. Come on. You need to buff. And leave me alone. There we go, now he buffs. Two pots just to be safe. Oh, I thought I could outspace that. Yep. Let's pop any golden runes we have just to be safe. And voila. Okay, so let's get one endurance and some faith. And let's see how fast we can get through Lindell. Oh, crap. <laughs> you know what? That was my own mistake. I was playing around, wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. That was intention that was entertaining. That was almost as entertaining as the way I died. Pop another rune arc. We have a lot of resistance to poison and uh, scarlet rot. <laughs> All right.
doesn't matter. And jump down here. Jump down here. Jump down here. Keep running. These guys are going to start attacking. It doesn't matter. Grab the golden rune. And jump over here. All right. Now we need to drink our physic. Buff with flame grant me strength. And we walk over here. We're going to two hand the dagger. Flame. Okay. And we're done with that. Sizable golden rune. Sizable golden rune. Okay. And we take the elevator back down. And before the physic wears off, you can rest at the side of grace over there, but that's not important. Or you could fast travel. We're going to flame grant me strength again as soon as we see the Urtry avatar spawn in. Should be now. Okay. Ow. torrent for that. So we just gotta fight it the hard way. Yep. Okay. Now let's sneak around this corner they don't hear me because I have Christmas's vial he lost track of me going around the corner and I have Christmas's vial so he doesn't hear me All the way over here. All right. Let's buff with uh, flame strike and flame grip. Oh, I wanted to sneak up on him. I gotta be like that. I just realized that's a two fingers incantation. And we serve the two fingers, they do not, so. Very interesting that they would use a two finger incantation when the tarnish serve the two fingers, not the golden order specifically at the moment.
lock onto him. There we go. Heal up. Don't know how that did hit me. Okay, can I stab him? I can. Fantastic. Oh god, <laughs> almost fell. Stab you, because you actually spot me walking up through here. Or was it you, actually? I think about it. And then also you. Okay, now we can walk up freely without any interruptions. Oh, come on. Nope. And the fourth talisman pouch. can do, just in case, jump across here, okay, grab this, grab this, and then, 
grab this. Rest this grace. And charge to our flask. And do we want to grab Grand Sex Bolt? Eh, no, not really. You can if you want to. It is down there. Now, what we do is we bean on this Black Knife Assassin, because this one will be in our way. And he's dead. Blessing of the Earth Tree. An incantation that does not scale with faith scaling. But it's actually a pretty reliable incant. Unfortunately, we need 38 faith for it, but we'll get to that. Uh, 18, mind, and a little bit more vigor. There we go. Substantially more damage. And we can talk to Melina. Spoken of your beauty in the words of Queen Melissa. You banish anger if you wish. I will share them with you. And when you could no more, Oh, Radigant, lay a hand of the golden order. Thou art yet to become me. Thou art yet to become a god. And Radigant is America. Both. None other self. Yeah, if you don't rest at a side of grace the entire time you're in Lindell... And you get to this point, or at least to the Urtry Sanctuary point, uh, and you enter the the bedchamber of Queen Merica, you can actually talk to her. Very interesting. Now, for my favorite boss fight. Oh, it's so cool.
use this opportunity to rebuff. So much cooler at night. Uh, love the theme, love the lights, love the animations, love the story behind it too. Morgoth's just a great boss. And if you fight him with Holy, it's just a clash of ideals. Uh, he's tankier because of that. Um, and you likewise, uh, not necessarily... You may take a little less damage as well, so you're both just tankier outright whenever that happens. It's just so cool. Soon, soon I will have that throne. It will be mine. by the mantle of God, the dawn, the husk of men weighed and become like her. Yes, yes, yes. And guide All right. That about does it for this episode. We're going to invest a little bit more into mind, endurance, yeah, endurance. That about does it for this episode. We managed to kill Morgoth, and we also have uh, about three, four more bosses to go before we eventually beat Elden Ring. Because we got the Fire Giant, we have Malekith, we have Godfrey, and then we have Radigan himself. So, we're about done with this series, or we're about halfway done, uh, so to speak. The last three bosses are pretty much a, just rush through so actually i almost forgot getting off here but that's for good reason so i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna hopefully get the last few parts done really quickly before the dlc launches and i'll see all you later bye